yeah, or qatil in the fight in the imperative. In the Arabic, it comes from ala wasni fa'ala, fa'ala, which means that there's two people doing it. So there's in, in, in every language there's something called morphology. Yeah? The morphological root of the word qatal is from this term, which means that there has to be two people doing it. It's different to the Arabic word uqtul, which means to kill them, which is also there in the Quran, in the, in the battlefield context. But in this particular verse, in chapter 9, verse 29, uh, this word is being used, which means that both people are fighting each other already. So it cannot indicate that you're fighting a civilian or a non-combatant or something like that because the, in the very word itself, the morphological root indicates that there are two people fighting each other. Yeah. So this is, as you've mentioned, it's the battlefield context. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not you know, a civilian context or a non-combatant context. Okay. But there seems to be a misunderstanding because she said recently there was a priest who was murdered in Egypt and that the people who did it may have been motivated by that thing in the Quran? Yeah. Well, I mean, th let's think about the general picture, right? The general picture is that Egypt, as you know, I'm from Egypt myself, actually. But Egypt is a country with 10 million Coptic Christians, yeah. okay? Now, if Islam stated, if you want to make a historical argument, the question is, why are there any Coptic Christians there in the first place? Shouldn't they have all been wiped out when the Islamic conquest happened some, you know, 1,000 years ago, 1,400 years ago? at the time of Amr ibn al-As, when he was the commander who went into Egypt. So the fact that you've got, you've got probably as many Christians in Egypt, almost as, as there are in this country, actually. As in, in this country, it's, it's like maybe 30-40% Christians that, according to the newest Pew research, right? And if there's 80 million, I don't know, what's 20 million of, uh, what, 16, 16 million, 16, 17 million. So there's probably a very similar amount of Christians in Egypt as there is in England, which is, Something historical, something very interesting in the last thousand years that's never happened. But the fact that you've got that many uh, Christians in Egypt and that they still have their communities is, is actually a historical proof against those who say that Islam was a religion that came to try and annihilate uh, Christian people and kill them because they're not Muslim. Clearly the Quran doesn't say that, you know, like Qur'an says in chapter 2 verse 256, there's no compulsion of religion. But more so, even the Orientalists admit this. I mean. Uh, for example, uh, Arnold Walker, Thomas Arnold Walker, who wrote The Preaching of Islam, when he's an Orientalist who wrote maybe like 80 years ago or something like that, and he has a, a, a chapter dedicated to the conquest of Egypt, and he speaks about that and he says that basically that the Christians were given their right, that uh, Umar ibn Khattab, had a, who was the Caliph at the time in the Islamic Empire, had a system to ensure that they were given their rights, and so on. So that is what she or other people are saying goes against the historical reality of the fact, you know, that these communities, you know, are, are there in the Arab world or the Muslim world and continue to be there, have been there for a long time and continue to be there. You see, you see the point? I do understand. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, like, you know, as you mentioned correctly, you know, if this was true, then it would have been uh, all Muslims would have been doing it to all Christians, yeah. Yeah. especially in Muslim majority lands, right? Yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. That was a nice one. That's a good one today.